Wendy and I are a very apt, but maybe unlikely pairing. Mm -hmm. I think the world needs to see these two bodies in proximity in creative exploration. Coordinating together, really, like moving together as one, but separate entities, but really making one thing. When he comes out of the world of ballet and I come out of the world of hip hop and how those two cultural forces come together. A woman from Louisville, Kentucky, a, a dude from Queens, New York, mm -hmm. like um, the middle where we meet at, mm -hmm. I think is instructive and poetic. The resting grounds the salt where your forebears retire to earth. As you flutter by, the feeling will butterfly, kiss the sky beneath you. You'll be moved. For the past four or five years, I've been doing contemporary work. I'm finding a lot of new movement quality, new ideas, new brain space within the new work, and it's fueling me for the next half of my career. Animals move like the monarch. I make poems for the body that are sometimes the length of a haiku and sometimes at the scale of opera. So it goes, it goes here, you kind of break it. I was thinking, trying to keep up with time or keep up with the world. Oh, there we go, yeah. Francesca's movement and Mark's word are both things that I've been kind of wanting to do you know, and excited about, and, and, I, and it, they both just are feeding this, this thing that I've been looking for for a while, so I've kind of found it. Through your little points of light that are, that's right, yeah. So exciting about working on this piece with her is to take this commonality and to really express it and craft it into a piece. It starts out to be something, and then it feels really wrong. I don't have the luxury of uh, making art that doesn't bleed or sweat or cry. I write in response to the prevailing cultural rhythms of the day. Don't, don't restrain me. The language that we move to today is inspired by the Carnival of the Animals, which is a century old classical piece, but we're kind of reimagining what classic and classical means the resting grounds, the salt where your forebears retire to earth. I, I made a piece ultimately about animals who migrate and move in this very stark moment where borders are challenged and contested and the, the natural pattern of migration is opposed and vilified. The root cause of great migrations is self-interest. The greatest generations haven't been born yet. The butterfly moves up from south. The, the monarch uh, represents a, a very specific and gorgeous kind of migration that when applied as a metaphor to the political moment, um, really challenges, I think, some harsh assumptions about borders and why it is that we move. Ultimately, migration is a selfless act, a shapeshifter since the chrysalis, caterpillar grounded, insect vulnerable, more metamorphosis than Sisyphus, uh, like the penguin. Feels like it's fitting like a puzzle piece. I mean, we didn't know what to expect. I've, I'm feeling the rhythm that he's giving me. Mm -hmm. And I think he's feeling the combination of both of our worlds coming together. Um, I think they feel like they're making sense to each other already. It's like, ah, oh. mm -hmm. and it's, it's, there's like excitement about it. Oh, yes, yeah. that's, right. that's right. And you know what? The biggest uh, challenge of this project is when Wendy Whalen is so dope. It's hard to keep up. I don't think there's something you can't do. Or so we'll figure that out. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you will cross borders. You know, there's a difference between entertainment and inspiration. Um, entertainment feels flat to me, but the live moment is an opportunity for folks to be together in the dark, to be inspired in a finite moment in time. I hope that the audience will take away how connected we all are and how similar 
we all are as human beings. I really want to try to bring the mirror up so that we see ourselves and then we show the audience themselves through us. Okay. <laughs> a moment. We're not standing still. There's a fire, I think, for both of us um, that really is about um, our appreciation, not just for physical movement, but for cultural movement.